Officials, postal worker recants ballot tampering claims. Remember this uh, Project Veritas thing that did this whole expose on Ilhan Omar and then it turned out the people in that expose were lying and they thought that they were acting. And then Project Veritas presented it as if it weren't acting. They thought they were doing like a, a reenactment for like a, like, a, like a lifetime show or something. But instead, James O'Keefe was like, no, that's not a reenactment. That's real. Right? And then the guys came out and were like, whoa, no, 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 no. We were actors. We were paid to act. Right? So here's another similar situation. So let's read. This is from the Seattle Times. A Pennsylvania postal worker whose claims have been cited by top Republicans as potential evidence of widespread voting irregularities admitted to U.S. Postal Service investigators that he fabricated the allegations, according to three officials briefed on the investigation and a statement from the House Congressional Committee. Richard Hopkins claimed that a postmaster in Erie, Pennsylvania, instructed postal workers to backdate ballots mailed after Election Day was cited by Senator Lindsey Graham in a, Sen in a letter to the Justice Department calling for a federal investigation. Attorney General William Barr subsequently authorized federal prosecutors to open up probes into credible allegations of voter irregularities and fraud before results are certified. A reversal of long-standing Justice Dem Department policy. But on Monday, Hopkins, 32, told investigators from the U.S. Postal Service's Office of in Inspector General that the allegations were not true, and he signed an affidavit recanting his claims, count according to officials who spoke on the condition of anonymity to describe an ongoing investigation. Democrats on the House Oversight Committee tweeted late Tuesday that the whistleblower completely recanted. Isn't that weird? All these like various forms of, oh, voter fraud, Democrats trying to rig the election. Somehow they managed to rig the election, rig the election to lose so many House and Senate seats, right? Somehow, some rigged election barely winning the presidency, losing seats in the House, losing seats in the Senate, right? No, is it totally cheating? Totally, right? I'm not ridiculous. But isn't it interesting that all these people that are claiming this, a couple days later, once they get world press and all this attention, they crack because these are regular people. If you're a regular postal worker, all of a sudden someone gives you like a couple thousand dollars and says, hey, make this up for us. And then... You've got 3 million text messages, 6,000 emails, and 15 million fucking letters being sent to your house that you're delivering yourself. You get scared and you crack because normal people are not really, they don't lie that easily, especially in these grand presidential cover-up kind of things. If it were like, if they were lying about like, you know, I'm supposed to be on a diet, but I ate a few cookies and I don't want to tell anyone, you know, whatever whatever, right? But if they're going to lie, oh yeah, so by the way, the Democrats stole the election. And it's like, that's not like, people don't just, just do that. That's not like really a thing that people are really capable of mostly. The Trump campaign provided that affidavit to Graham, who in turn asked the Justice Department and FBI to launch an investigation. The Trump campaign also cited reports of the allegation in a federal lawsuit filed Monday against Pennsylvania election officials that seeks to prevent them from certifying the state's election results. Tim Murtaugh, a Trump campaign spokesman, said Hopkins' allegations are just a small part of the campaign's assertions in Pennsylvania lawsuit, adding, we don't know what kind of pressure he has been under since he has publicly made those statements. Like, it's a whole thing. It's like, oh yeah, that one that we based our entire thing on, that all of our senators were talking about, the pivotal case, eh, they made it up, they were paid, they were an actor. That has no bearing on all these other ones that are directly linked to similar people in similar situations. No, 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 no. No, 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 right? Project Veritas founder James O'Keefe on Saturday hailed Hopkins as an American hero. On Twitter, a GoFundMe page created under Hopkins' name had raised more than $136,000 by Tuesday evening with donors praising him as a patriot and a whistleblower. Ooh, easy money. 
The fundraising page was removed by GoFundMe after the story was published Tuesday, a a spokesman said for the platform. Separately, on Monday, Project Veritas announced it was offering a $25,000 reward for first-hand election fraud tips in Pennsylvania. Late Tuesday, O'Keefe claimed to have recordings of agents questioning Hopkins and said that he was pressured to sign a document that he did not understand. If you're offering people money to just make things up, there's a very high likelihood that they're going to make things up. Hell, maybe I'll call James O'Keefe and tell him about some voter fraud, get some money, and then recant it later. Sounds like a good strategy. Sounds pretty good. But yeah, so just another example of, you know, just shit going wrong. It happens. It happens. But uh, again, Democrats, they rigged the election, right? They rigged so hard that they lost in every category except the presidency. What a nice rig. Like, what a nice fucking rig, right? 